Margie, risk appears to be on uh, this morning. I mean, Coinbase is up. Uh, you know, um, C3 AI is up 6%. NVIDIA, um, you say that perhaps the concerns about uh, rates and uh, the markets have been overdone? Uh, yes, I think so. People have been really hoping for a recession because historically you would expect with such a big increase in short rates, we'd be on the brink of one. But the economy keeps on chugging along. First and tech quarter earnings were great. Third quarter looks pretty good. And you can see these economically sensitive sectors are moving. So clearly the market does not think we're on the brink of a recession. So that's really what's lifting those parts of the market. How much more of a lift are we going to get, though? Because we got PCE coming up and then we got the jobs report where I think wage data is going to be particularly in focus. And, you know, we've got United Auto Workers perhaps about to strike. So even if it looks like wages are under control for now, maybe not for long. Well, I think those are all rather small factors influencing the market. But basically, the economy is good. There's no sector that's really out of balance. And really, we've seen over the last year, the economy, consumers and business is rather insensitive to these huge increases in short-term rates. The banks, yes, they had a little scuffle there. But the other parts of the economy really aren't bothered by these higher rates. They're benefiting from higher savings rates. And so I don't think a small change in labor rates, something like that, is going to change. Plus, really, when unemployment is at three and a half percent, it's really hard to get very negative about um, what's going to happen to wages. I think we'll be very firm and continue to move up modestly. OK, let's get more granular so people can look at their portfolios in this environment. You like semiconductors. Uh, how do you slice that? Because, I mean, NVIDIA, it, it's kind of almost living in a world all its own. Maybe you can put AMD in there as well, a couple others. But uh, what do you like about semiconductors? Well, I've liked them for a long time uh, because they have one of the best growing um, characteristics of any part of the economy, and they'll continue to, to benefit and maybe even accelerate with artificial intelligence, with continued move of data to the cloud. So we think they will continue to be one of the best performing parts of the market. And even though it's true, a lot of the semis have been extremely volatile stocks. Many of them are up tremendously so far this year. But just because they're up isn't a reason to ditch them and not like them. We think they still have room to move up because their earnings are going to move up. You also like industrials and some of the diagnostics within healthcare. Why is that? Well, the industrials, because we think that having been a sector that's been sluggish for really decades, having share taken away, the U.S. industrial base has turned the corner. Uh, our industrial companies are very competitive. We've seen the move for nearshoring and reshoring, so we think companies are going to increase capital expenditures. That will help the industrial companies as they, as they continue to be part of this trend. And particularly with the strong economy, we think that the industrial outlook, those that have high intellectual property, high technological component, will do very well. Um, in the healthcare space, we like the tools and diagnostics, but honestly, looking at the healthcare space, Lots of value there, but we really don't think we're going to see big moves in that sector because they have government regulation problems with generics, problems with doing acquisitions, and a few bankruptcies. So we think they're great value, but you really have to wait. We don't think they're going to be the performers this year. Okay, we're going to talk about some of that choppiness a little later on in the show. Margie Patel, uh, thanks for kicking that off for us.